today's the day we hopefully put the case halves back together. Um, I've not really been looking forward to this job because you have to make sure that everything's right before you seal the case halves up, which isn't a lot, but it's something you don't want to seal and then realise you've forgotten something. So it's about checking, double checking, checking three times, sealing it up and hopefully not finding something that you should have included. Um, so yeah, so I mean, I've not done this before as I keep saying. Um, so for me, yeah, this is one of the big kind of assembly jobs. You know, it's it's got to be clean, everything's got to be in the right place. Um, we've got to get bonding, Honda bond on all the mating surfaces. Um, case halves together um, and then bolted torques down properly, torque down um, and hopefully no cock-ups. Um, but before I do anything else, just so I don't forget, um, I'm going to fit the new seal to the um, to the shaft, the output shaft and um, I'm going to grease up the seal and grease up the um, the shaft and uh, hopefully they'll slide on nice and easily without screwing anything up. Um, now I wasn't sure which grease to use for this so I'm just using a standard um, automotive grease uh, I think it's lithium grease um, it's just designed for bearings and that sort of thing um, I think you can get too clever with this sort of thing but again if, you, if you're not experienced you don't know you're just told to use grease and left to it so that's what I'm doing using grease so I'm just going to make sure that the lips on the seal are coated so you don't want to get bananas with the stuff um, it's there to aid lubrication until the engine gets running and I guess the grease gets washed out at that point or maybe it doesn't, maybe on the inner inner lips it stays it stays um, in there, I don't know time will tell <coughs> now this is a bit I have to be a little bit careful because if you hold it wrong it self dismantles um, this is the uh, the bearing surface that um, the oil seal runs around and it is in less than perfect condition but it certainly looks a lot better after I very carefully used super fine wet and dry on there just to take off the worst of the scoring and the uh, corrosion um, hopefully I haven't put it out of true hopefully I haven't removed too much material hopefully the uh, gods of mechanics are uh, looking down and thinking well he's a bit of an idiot but we'll let him get away with it but you can't buy this part and I guess you could take it to a machine shop and have this uh, remachined um, but it has to be pulled off, the bearing has to be pulled off just way above what I wanted to do with this project it's already um, running on and you know what we'll just suck it and see suck it and see so I'm just going to gently gently, there we go Lots of grease oozing out, which I think I might remove the worst of. There we go. Cool. Right, let's put that down for a moment. Okay, just for reference, I have checked that this timing chain is in the right place. The dot on the um, sprocket matches the uh, centre of the white link. Um, on the um, balancer chain um, so I'm happy that that is where it's supposed to be so that's good we've cleaned all the surfaces uh, with meths which are now drying off nicely and they should all be damn clean um, so whilst they're drying I am going to get organized um, I have got Rather than using a finger that I've seen everyone else using, I've got some of these um, children's glue uh, applicators, glue spreaders, um, and I'm going to use that to thinly apply a layer of um, Honda Bond around the outside. 
I've laid the bolts out, um, ready to go to drop in, and I have got uh, the uh, uh, the sizes uh, marked on there just to make it life easier for me. Um, but I'm not going to rush into this. I'm going to have a quick think about it just to make sure I've got everything everything sorted. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do um, before I do anything, uh, before I, I put it all together, was just to um, put a drop of lubricant on some of these um, gears. But I'll do that off shot. Okay. I've got my um, conversions for the uh, torque wrenches already looked at. I've got the bolts laid out. I've got the seal attached to the gear set. We've lubricated the bits we need to lubricate. The chain has been checked that it is in alignment with its mark. The surfaces have been cleaned to within an inch of their life. And I'm just going to calmly go around with the Honda Bond <laughs> without rushing and carefully apply it. And we're going to start with this bottom shell here and we're going to apply Honda Bond to that and then we're going to drop in the gear set um, and we're then going to work our way around and then we're not going to forget to put Honda Bond on top of the uh, seal before we close it up. Right, anyway, I shall get on with it and um, we'll do a little bit on film but then I'll probably stop filming for a little while because it'll be a bit tedious. I have no idea what the consistency of this stuff is like no idea at all. So here goes. Hmm. It's quite thick and gloopy. Difficult to describe really. This bit might be easier by finger. Kind of wants to squidge over the edge. Bizarre stuff. I'm trying to avoid that hole that you might be able to see um, at the bottom of this um, recess because that's an oil drain hole, I think. So we definitely don't want to block that with goop because that would cause problems further down the line. The instructions instantly say use a brush or a spatula, which is what I'm using, um, and to apply a thin, even coat. I'll tell you what, it's quite goopy and it's quite difficult to get that thin, even coat. Anyway, I guess like anything, you can overthink these things. So I'm just going to apply a thin amount. all the flat surfaces. People do say it should be a thin. I don't actually know what the setting time is on this stuff, whether it's like... See, that's where you've got to be careful. You don't want to get it in the bolt holes. Avoid that if possible. Not overthink it. I don't want so much on there that it's going to squidge out as soon as I um, as soon as I close the case halves up because I don't want it all filling the cavity. It's not so bad if it comes outside the case, although it won't be very slightly. But you just don't want it squidging into the oil ways and the. I think that's what the bit you've got to worry about. God. as thin as possible. Right, I'm going to do this back piece now and then I'm going to drop that shaft in and um, okay. because the two case halves come together quite um, they're very close fitting I don't think you need a lot of this stuff it literally takes up the the minutest of space that might be left between the machinings any little scratches and 
I read somewhere on the internet that someone had joined these with it, or a case half somewhere without putting this stuff on and it didn't leak, but you know what, I read a lot of stuff on the internet. And it's not something you'd really try, is it? I certainly wouldn't want to try it. After all the work that goes into um, pulling one of these things apart and actually more than anything it's cleaning the gasket stuff off. It's removal of the the goo that's left behind. It's a pain in the backside. I'm going to drop that um, drop this in now. I'm going to clean my hands and I'm going to come back to applying make sure that the selector forks line up check okay drop that sometimes this takes a wiggle is that in nope that's in Right, hopefully when we torque that down everything will be pulled tight. Is that in? Is that locked? Feels locked. And that's in the other right position. I like to clean hands. In fact, change gloves. Keep any oil out of it. Right, I'm going to work my way around now. I won't mind filming it because it's just been boring as hell. Okay, last check. Every surface has been coated with Honda Bond, a thin coat. The chain is over the top of the crank. The timing is set. So it's just a case now of lowering the case down, knocking it into place, and then gently tightening up. Right, here goes. No cock ups. to our sequence. So the long bolts are as follows. Oh, nearly forgot. Aluminium anti-seeds. I've used this before either, but apparently it's highly recommended on threads into aluminium blocks. Long. I'll spare you this bit. I'm just gonna half torque these to start with. Uh, 12. Let's make sure I don't go too far. 11. 
17, 18. Good. Right, that's the top done. Now I've got to put the bolts in the bottom and do those.